Hello, this is Clemens Lama from Autotonic and today I'm going to talk a little bit about this new sort of MIDI plugin slash standalone application. Well, Autotonic is actually no MIDI plugin, but you're using it as it were a plugin. Means uh, that you're going to um, send your uh, hardware MIDI keyboard signals into Autotonic and from Autotonic only your, si or your, pro only your processed signals will be forwarded to your DAW or your virtual instrument or any other um, destination uh, of your uh, choice. Okay, um, but what is Autotonic and what does it do? So Autotonic um, completely reinterprets the way of how your keyboard works, means that um, you're not going to play on black and white keys as you were uh, used to before, but um, you can use the black keys as function toggles to load instant uh, key mappings onto your white keys. So you can, for example, uh, store in this black key a blue scale or uh, store in this key another classical scale or a pentatonic. You can store and use your black keys as key switches at the closest point of uh, possible to your fingers, of your playing fingers and um, can use the white keys complete uh, as a complete linear key key uh, keyed instrument um, for your playing this is not also not not meant for uh, reinterpreting existing pieces of music but more to be uh, express yourself even more and uh, create very stunning new compositions Okay, um, you can use any hardware MIDI keyboard controller for Autotonic. This is just one example. I have, uh, I have set up also other um, keyboards here. And um, for this example, which I'm going to show you now, I have uh, set up my uh, MIDI routing already. In this case, I am using a Depth 88 key. Uh, keyed keyboard, you can use any keyboard of your choice, uh, it, but it must be a MIDI keyboard, of course. So, um, if we're going to look now at the user interface of Autotonic, then uh, we can see that um, we have two um, main uh, components here, uh, these modifiers we call it, it's the tonic modifier and scale modifier, and these two uh, the variables uh, define all your music harmonic content means um, any existing piece of music or any future existing uh, that will be existing in the future um, any any song written um, and and specific harmonic content used can be defined by only two components two, two variables which are the tonic modifier so which note uh, is um, your is, is your um, your harmonic content starting and at which height and um, the second component is which scale is actually based on this uh, root note. So which uh, interval steps are going to be um, relevant uh, for this harmonic content. Um, what I would usually do in a such uh, private session is that I going to uh, I would go to cl uh, clean my setup. Um, Clear my, clear my setup, uh, empty all uh, headers, we call these black uh, keys headers, and uh, position the power button where it uh, should supposed to, where, it, uh, where I want to have it. And in this case I'm using the power button on this key, or I can also drag it onto the last key, so it will be here. And <clears throat> um, then I'm free to set up uh, all, all the black keys uh, with uh, custom scales and tonic combinations combinations uh, that I want to. So for example, uh, I can also use these, um, these pre-built uh, templates which, are, um, uh, cover, which cover the most uh, relevant uh, scales in music history. And uh, for example, if I can lock here uh, Eolian which is a natural minor scale. We have also a lot of descriptions here and if you're not uh, happy with this then you can also of course um, change this to your desired uh, descriptions. And um, you can see it will change instantly and then you can uh, change uh, the 
the, for example, now I have a natural minus scale on this black key header, and um, then I can uh, store into this black key uh, the mixolydian. So, as you can see in the output, and the lower the lower keyboard represents the input keyboard. So what I'm going to play, and the output keyboard is the upper one, uh, which uh, represents what actually will be um, outputted from Autotonic. So this um, difference is very subtle. So let's go change uh, or do something more dramatic for this example. Results and uh, it's very inspirational, but you of course have to accept that this is a complete a pedago pedagogical uh, different approach of playing. So no, it's not meant actually to um, um, to re reinterpret existing music uh, pieces of music, but uh, it is meant for composers or for musicians who are searching for a new sort of instrument. Since uh, with every uh, key switch you're going to change the actual mapping on your uh, white keys, um, then you have to. Uh, you, it's, it's difficult to remember actually where uh, each each scale's notes are, so it is really meant to uh, express uh, your feelings as you go. I hope this explains a little bit uh, more for the most people uh, who are uh, not sure about autotonic yet, but it is a completely new approach of playing. Uh, key mapping has already existed before, but mostly sadly ignored by most people. Um, and this gives you now a, a, a function, a method uh, to really use key mapping for um, for for uh, very versatile playing and compositions. Yeah, thank you, and uh, please share, like, and subscribe. And it, uh, thank you for all your support, and uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much.